Hey guys, it's Kyle with the HowToGuy123 here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a Minecraft server for version 1.14.1, and this should still work in future versions of Minecraft. I know a lot of people have been pretty much picking up this game again, and I thought it'd be a good idea to make an updated tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So to begin, hop down into the description below, and I'll have a link for minecraft.net slash downloads, and this is where we're going to get all the files to uh, run our server. So once you're on this page, scroll down until you see play Minecraft on these devices and you'll see two options, download Minecraft Java Edition server software and download Minecraft server software. Now make sure you download the Java Edition one because this one is for Minecraft Bedrock and this one's for Minecraft Java Edition. So click the green button that says get it here and that's going to bring you to this page here and come down here to where it says download Minecraft server 1.14.1 or whatever version you're on .jar. Click on it. And Chrome tends to think uh, .jar files could be harmful, so it's going to ask you if you want to keep this file, make sure you click on keep. And there we go, now it's downloaded. Now minimize Chrome or whatever web browser you're using, and you're going to want to create a, a folder. This could be anywhere, I just like to put it on my desktop for easy access. So go right click, go down to new, folder, and that's going to create a new folder on our desktop. And you can call this whatever you want, I'm going to call my Minecraft server. And then we're going to want to open it and open it on my second monitor. And then go back to Chrome here, put that to the side. And we're going to drag server.jar into this folder. Awesome. Now come back to Minecraft.net here. And you'll see this little code here. Go ahead and highlight it and copy it. Now minimize Chrome once again. Go back to our Minecraft server folder. Right click, new, and text document. Now you don't need to give it a name, just go ahead and open it and you're going to want to paste the code into this text document here. And there's going to be a couple things we need to change here. First thing here is you'll see 10.24 in two places here. This is the amount of RAM we're going to allocate to our server. Now a good rule of thumb is if you have 5 players, you're going to want to have 1 gig of RAM. If you have 10 players, you're going to want to have 2 gigs of RAM. So for every 5 players, you want to add another gigabyte of RAM. And now you can add as much RAM as you want as long as you don't go over half of the amount of RAM your computer has. So for example, if we come down here to the Windows, uh, to the Start button, and we go down to Settings, System, and About, and under Installed RAM, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I don't want to use more than 8 gigs of RAM. However, 8 gigs of RAM is quite overkill. I would recommend having around 2 to 4 gigs of RAM. So in this case, I'm going to choose 2 gigs of RAM, and you're just going to want to change 1024 to 2048 for 2 gigs. And that goes the same over here. And one more thing we're going to want to change is where it says Minecraft underscore server 1.14.1.jar. Highlight Minecraft underscore server just before the dot jar here. Erase everything. And you're going to want to change it to server dot jar. And the reasoning behind that is you're going to want to name it whatever the dot jar file we downloaded. You're going to want to change it to whatever the name of this is. And in this case, it's server.jar. Now come back to our notepad here. And now go to File, Save As, Not Save, Save As. And you're going to want to call it run.bat, B-A-T. You could call it whatever you want, but make sure it has the .bat extension. And then under Save As Type, change that to All Files. And then click on Save. Now we can exit out of notepad here, and we can delete this new text document. We don't need it anymore. And then you're going to want to double click on run.bat. Now this is how we're going to run our server every single time. So if you want to turn on your server, you're going to want to double click on run.bat. And then you, you'll see that a command window popped up, and then it's going to immediately exit. And you'll see these two extra, this, these two new files in the folder here. Now open up eula.txt. And you'll see here where it says eula equals false, just change that to true. Now come up here to file and save. Now we can exit out of this. Now once again double click on run.bat and the command window is going to open up again. But this time you're going to want to let it wait, or you're going to want to wait for it to generate uh, our Minecraft world. So just wait till this is done. It should take about a minute or so. Alright awesome, now this is done. 
go ahead and type in stop and this is going to stop our server. This is how you're going to stop your server every single time. Because if you just exit out of it, sometimes your Minecraft world might not be saved and you'll lose some progress. So just hit stop or type in stop and then hit enter and that's going to stop our server from running. And you'll see that a couple more files have popped up in our Minecraft server folder. Now you'll see one here that's, that's uh, called server.properties. To open it, right click and then go with go to open with and then open it with notepad and these are pretty much all the settings for your server and you can pretty much change these to your liking so for example if you want to change the game mode to creative you could just type in game mode equals creative uh, if you wanted to turn pvp off you could change that to pvp equals to false if you want to change the difficulty to whatever you want so in this case i'll change the difficulty to hard if you wanted monsters to be turned off you could do monsters spawn monsters equals to false pretty much you could change this to however you want online mode equals true basically if your friends have cracked minecraft and you want them to be able to play on your server you would want to change that to false and when you're done editing all the properties come up here to file and then save and then you can exit out of this now that we're done editing the server properties go ahead and click on run.bat to open it to run our server now wait for it to start up our server. Now that this is done and our server has loaded up, we can open up Minecraft. Now that Minecraft has loaded up, go to multiplayer and then go to add server, give it whatever name you want and just type in localhost. And then click done and you'll see that uh, our server is up. However, people, other people can't join, only you can join because running on your computer. So now we're on our server, everything's good. Let's uh, go ahead and make it so other people could actually join our server. So now we can just ex exit out of this, disconnect. Now we can just minimize Minecraft for now. And we're going to go ahead and port forward. What port forwarding is, it basically allows other people to connect to your Minecraft server from anywhere around the world. So to do that, you're going to want to come back down to uh, Chrome. Now the thing is, this is going to be different for everybody because everyone has, you know, a different router. So I'll leave this link in the description below to portforward.com and this will give you a guide for pretty much every single router on how to port forward on it. So in my case I have a TP-Link Archer C7. If you don't know the model number it should say on the router somewhere what model of router you have. But in my case I have a TP-Link so I'll go to T, TP-Link and uh, it's gonna just click close here. Uh, and I have an Archer C7 and this would basically be a guide on how to port forward on the Archer C7. So I'll bring, I'll uh, go through it with you guys. So first we're gonna need to go to our router settings. In my case, I would type 192.168.0.1 in the uh, kind of URL bar here in Chrome. And you'll see this little uh, sign in box here. Now, but each router has like a default login uh, if you haven't changed it. And in my case, it's, it would say on the, uh, the port forward guide here, what the password is. So the username is admin and the password is admin by default. So I would type that in admin and admin and, and enter and that was successful. And you'll see all of these router settings here. And uh, in my case, I would now go to forwarding, add new and under service port. This will be the same for everybody. It's going to be 25565 and under internal port. Once again, it'll be 25565. The port will be the same for every single, uh, for everyone's router. This is basically the port you use to run a Minecraft server. Now under IP address, we're going to want to come down here to the start menu and type in the CMD and then open up command prompt. Once command prompt is open, type in IP config and scroll up until you see IPv4 address and you'll see the IPv4 address in my case is 192.168.0.116. This will be different for everybody, but basically you're going to want to enter that into the box here. And then under protocol, choose all or both, and then click on save. And now we have successfully port forward, so we can just minimize edit this. Actually, first thing, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is open up a new tab and just go to Google. And you're going to want to type in what's my IP and you'll see this. This is your IP address here. I'm going to blur mine out just so you guys don't DDoS me, but this is what you'd pretty much give to your friends to connect to your server. So we can uh, just copy that there and we can go back into Minecraft and then go to multiplayer 
add server and we can add that into our server address put it done Let's give it a second to load up and you see that it is online go to it and there we go we are now in our minecraft server and other people can connect all right so just to show that everything works i'll just sign in on to another account and there we go this is just another account I'm running on my laptop, but you can see that other people should be able to connect at this point. So that's pretty much all there is to it, to setting up a Minecraft server on version 1.14.1, and that should still work in the future for future versions of Minecraft. So if this helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.